Welcome back. It's 552. Time for your morning news now. A Fort Atkinson man is dead after a train hit his tractor. The Winnishie County Sheriff says a train struck 60-year-old Carl Kuhn on Highway 24 and 128th Street. The train's conductor says he saw Kuhn driving and tried braking but hit him at 30 miles per hour. Kuhn was pronounced dead on scene. Winona voters got a closer look at their House candidates last night. The League of Women Voters hosted a forum for several Minnesota House seats, including District 26A. Republican Aaron Rapinski and Democrat Sarah Kruger faced off, covering their Winona roots, bipartisanship, goals, and economic concerns, both pledging to prioritize constituent needs in St. Paul. Voting in a way that is always based on the needs of the district, not necessarily based on a caucus, not based on a party that I'm affiliated with. Everybody talks about the economy and how we increased our budget by 38% over two years with having a surplus. Government needs fiscal responsibility and transparency. Rapinski serves on Winona City Council. Kruger is Chief of Staff for Fair Vote Minnesota. Happening today, Gwen Walls brings the campaign trail to Wisconsin. The Harris Walls ticket makes two stops in the Badger State. Beloit at 10 and Madison at noon. Exact locations are still under wraps. Her tour, her tour follows President Biden's Milwaukee stop yesterday. Longtime lacrosse resident Shondell Washington Spivey formally launching his campaign for mayor of lacrosse. The UWL graduate and executive director for the nonprofit Black Leaders Acquiring Collective Knowledge held his first campaign event yesterday. He says his experience serving the community will help address issues the city is facing. I've talked to a lot of folks around issues here in lacrosse and things like that, and so I feel like I can be, do a great job as mayor and leading the city to address some of the issues that we have. His campaign says its focus is returning the fundamental values of care, action, and community back to the mayor's office. The mayoral race will be on the April ballot. A local favorite is now officially closed for the season. Rudy's Drive-In dished out its final walnut burger, shakes, and fries yesterday before shutting down for the winter. The owner says it's now time for some deep cleaning and prep for next season. All right, and away we go. We've got the fog in the morning, so it's frosty out there. Protect the kiddos as they're heading to school this early morning. And, of course, yourself as you're getting out. Don't forget to bundle up. We'll carry over into temperatures holding on to the 30s, the 40s, and the 50s through the morning hours. And once we get into the afternoon, yeah, we'll continue to warm you up, getting into the low 70s. How about this, though, for lacrosse? You'll get into the 40s, the 50s, 60s, going through the morning hours. By the time we get into the afternoon, you're going to be getting back into the 70s. So check this out. 75 for lacrosse today, 71 for Eau Claire or so. Then we get into at least warmer conditions for Thursday, Friday. Temperatures from 79 to 81 degrees. The weekend starts to cool it down a bit, but it's breezy. Rainfall potential about 20, 30 to 40 percent chance working through the area. 20 percent chance on Sunday. Then you've got the Indigenous Peoples Day going on on Monday. Much cooler. The temperatures are going to be in the 30s, starting out with the highs in the 50s.